In this video, I am going to discuss about sampling distribution of means without replacement. In the previous video, already I have done an example on sampling distribution of means with replacement. Now, we will see an example. A population consists of 5 numbers 2, 3, 6, 8 and 11. Consider all possible samples of size 2 which can be drawn without replacement from this population. So, we have to find out the mean of the population that is mu standard deviation of the population which is sigma and mean of the sampling distribution of means which is mu x bar and standard deviation of sampling distribution of means which is sigma x bar. So, first I will write down what is given. So, capital N is equal to 5 that is he has given 2, 6 and he has asked you to find out for sample size 2. So, small n is equal to 2 and without replacement. So, first I will find mean, mean of the population is given by mu equal to sum of the values by n that is 2 plus 3 plus 6 plus 5. So, this by 5, so which is equal to 30 by 5, which is equal to 6. So, mean of the population is 6. Now, we will find out the standard deviation of the population. So, we will find out variance and take the square root of the variance, which will give standard deviation, which is given by summation of x i minus mu whole square by capital N. So, this 2 minus and we got mu value as 6. So, 2 minus 6 whole square plus 3 minus 6 whole square plus 6 minus 6 whole square plus 8 minus 6 whole square plus 11 minus 6 whole square by 5. So, solve this. This is equal to. So, this is equal to minus 4 square 16 minus 3 square 9, 0 plus 2 square is 4 and 5 square is 25 by 5. And on simplifying this, we will get the value as 10.8. And from here, we will find the standard deviation. So, standard deviation sigma is equal to under root of variance, which is equal to under root of 10.8 and square root of 10.8 is equal to 3.29. So, we got mu is equal to 6 and deviation is equal to 3.29. So, before finding the mean and standard deviation of the sampling distribution, we have to find out the samples. And since we are considering here without replacement, so number of samples of size 2 without replacement is given by Phi uh, n c n, which is equal to number of the values given, and n is the size of the sample. So phi c two is equal to ten. So here we will get ten without replacement. So those ten samples of two, three, six, eight, eleven replacement will be 2, 3, I am not considering 2, 2 because it is not replaced, then 2, 6, then 2, 8, 2, 11 and then we won't consider 3, 2 because already 2, 3 is there and also 3 also I am not considering, next will be 3, 3 and 3, 11. Since it is without replacement, we will have 6, 8, 6, 11, 8, 11, and 1, 2, 3, 4, 3, 7. So, total 10 samples we have. Now, we will find out the mean of these samples. So, mean of these samples will be. So, first we have 5 by 2, so 2 plus 3 5 by 2 which is 2.5, 2 
then 8 by 2 that is 4, then 10 by 2 is 5 and 13 by 2 is 6.5, then we have 9 by 2 that is 4.5, then 5.5, then 14 that is 7, 14 by 2 is 7 and 14 by 2 again is 7, then 17 by 2 is 8.5 and the last value 19 by 2 is equal to 9.5. Then after finding the sample means, now we will find out the mean standard deviation of the sampling distribution of the sampling distribution of means. is denoted by mu x bar and adding up all this sample means that is 2.5 plus 4 plus 5 plus 6.5 plus 4.5 plus 5.5 plus 7 plus 7 plus 8.5 divided by samples we got 10. So, adding up all this simplifying mu x bar will be equal to 6. That is mu as we already, already know sampling distribution of means should be same as mean of the population. So, mu x bar is equal to 6 is equal to mu. Now, we will find out the standard deviation sampling distribution Sam, same we will find out the variance and find out the root of the variance to get the standard deviation of the sampling distribution of means and this is denoted by sigma x bar. So, sigma x bar square is equal to summation of minus mu x bar square by 10. So, this will be equal to 2.5. So, we already know the means of the 2.5 minus 6 whole square plus 4 minus 6 whole square plus 5 minus 6 whole square plus 6.5 minus 6 whole square plus so on plus 8.5 minus 6 whole square so 9 square divided by 10 and this value after simplifying to 4.05 that is sigma x bar square value is 4.05. So, sigma x bar is equal to under root of 4.05 which is equal to 2.1. So, what we have seen mean of the population and mean of the sampling distribution of means is same. Likewise, here also we will find out sigma bar sigma x bar will be equal to sigma by root n into under root of n minus n by n minus 1 that is. So, we know sigma value is 3. So, 3.29 by root n that is into under root of capital which is equal to 2 by 5 minus 1 on simplifying this we should get the value as 2.01. So, this is how we find out sampling distribution of means without replacement. Thank you.